Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it short squeeze what's going on with the stock market world on a daily time frame. Let's move to 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. And now it's the time for VBull. VBull looks like you see that like all indexes started negative and it was all day short squeeze. All day short squeeze. Nice. Dow Jones plus 1%, SP 500 plus 1 and a quarter percent, NASDAQ plus 1.60. Bullish trend, right? Bullish. Let's see what's going on. Let's do technical analysis review. As usually, for swing trading, we are using 4 hours and day or daily time frame. Now, if you want to learn about more about uh, Vibull setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vibull setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages, white line MA200, four pull lines MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. MACD indicator lines, RSI indicator lines, and awesome oscillator bars. That's all very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like here, look at it on my mouse. MA5 green line did bearish crossover over 10. Bar moved below MA5. It is bearish. It was bearish trend, right? When bar bars moved above MA5, it was bullish trend. Since that time, we are in a bullish trend. What happened now? Three days in a row, three bars, three red bars, they moved below, SM, below MA5 and 10. It's a bearish reversal, right? MACD did bearish crossover, RSI did bearish crossover, awesome oscillator, red bearish. It's building bearish reversal for Dow Jones, uh, for DXY. For USA dollar, look at it on the 4 hours time frame. It's already did bearish reversal, bearish crossover over all moving averages over MA20, MA5, the signal line, over MA5, MA10, MA20, MA50, and it stopped at SMA100. SMA100 can be strong support moving average usually it was ma50 you see it bounced from ma50 several times but in this case it bounced from sma 100 from a moving averages 100 as a strong support okay a bearish dollar it's a bullish for indexes and equities now let's move to q's q's daily time frame right Green line, SMA uh, moving averages 5, MA5 did bullish crossover over red, over 10, and last bar closed above MA 120. Nice bullish reversal on MACD, RSI, bullish crossover, bullish reversal on daily time frame for Qs. For our time frame, same bullish reversal, last bar. Stopped at MA200, MA, it touched also MA50, MA200 strong resistant and it, it can be rejected. Actually, I did close this gap. You see this gap on the left side? It was already filled. It was already filled today, right? Gap was already filled. And it touched MA50. It can be rejection. MA50 ready for bearish crossover over 200. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see it, right? And one hour time frame, nice bullish reversal, bullish trend on all indicators. I believe it will touch MA200 and will be rejected. Bullish crossover. VXN, volatility index for, uh, for Qs, plus, sorry, minus. 6% minus 6% it is it's building bearish reversal bearish reversal closed below 200 and below MA5 and 10 
bearish reversal it means bullish for Qs. S&P 500 plus 1.1 and a quarter percent. Daily time frame it did bounce from MA 200. Nice bullish run and closed above MA 5 and 10. Bullish crossover, bullish reversal on daily for S&P 500, SPX. For hours time frame, same bullish crossover. You see MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. Last bar closed about 20. At the same time, MA50 did bearish crossover. It is a very negative setup. I don't believe this bull run will be very strong. It will be short bull run. And today it was a yeah, short squeeze, right? Look at it on the one hour time frame. Straight short squeeze all day. It was gap down and short squeeze all day. Short squeeze all day. Same on the Qs, right? Short squeeze all day, look at it. Today is Friday, end of the week, it's short squeeze. And VIX, let's move to VIX. VIX plus almost, yeah, 6%. Let's move on daily. It did reversal, but it stopped at MA200. Still kind of in a positive territory, still at MA200. Still bullish. Dow Jones, DIA. MA5 and 10 did bearish crossover over 200. Bearish trend on daily time frame. Even it was nice green bar today. Still trend is bearish. Because now MA200 is resistant. It's not support anymore, it is resistant. For hours time frame, MA5 did bullish crossover and last bar stopped at MA20. At the same time, MA50 did bearish crossover. Like I told you, it is very negative setup and this bull run will not be very strong. It will be rejected. One hour time frame, Straight bullish run, straight short squeeze all day, and it closed. Still bullish. VXD volatility index for Dow Jones. Daily time frame, huge bearish reversal rate, minus 17%. It means next Monday or Tuesday, Dow Jones will bounce and will uh, no. Dow Jones will bring a red day. It will be red day because volatility index my more than today minus 17%. It is 85% chance that Dow Jones will be negative Monday or on Tuesday. IWM Russell 2000 daily time frame still bearish crossover still I made 5, 10 and 20 below 200 bearish trend. For hours time frame, MA5 did bullish crossover. Still below 20, still negative. All indicators did bullish crossover. I made 20, MA100 did bearish crossover over 200. It is bearish negative setup. One hour time frame, it was nice bullish reversal, bullish run. Uh, short squeeze all day and last two hours I detached MA50, MA50 can be strong resistant. So far it is bullish. IWM, right? And let's move to Apple. Let's see Apple. Daily Apple. Last bar MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. Last bar closed about 20. All, all indicators bullish. Bullish trend, right? right? The bullish divergences worked very well. Four hours time frame, bullish crossover, bullish reversal, last bar closed above MA50. Nice bullish trend. One hour time frame, short squeeze all day. Just short squeeze for last two days, actually, short squeeze. And it stopped at MA200. MA200. Could be strong resistant for Apple. Let's move to Tesla. Tesla. Daily time frame Tesla. 
MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and ready for over 20. It is very positive bullish, right? On daily time frame, Tesla is bullish. It stopped at MA20. MA20 can be strong resistant. We'll see. For our time frame, MA5 did bullish crossover over all moving averages and last bar closed above all moving averages. Bullish trend on all indicators. One hour time frame. Last bar closed above all moving averages. Bullish trend. It's already building some bearish divergences. Yeah, so far it's in a bullish territory. MA20 did bullish crossover over 200. It is very positive bullish crossover. Now let's move to NVIDIA. NVIDIA daily, right? Let's start NVIDIA daily. MA5 did bullish crossover and last bar closed above all moving averages. All indicators bullish and <clears throat> for our time frame same story last bar closed above all moving averages bullish trend on all indicators one hour time frame MA5 intended bullish crossover over 200 last bar above all moving averages bullish trend nice also short squeeze bullish trend all day and it's already built bull bearish divergences right let me show you look at the trend is bullish right and macd has be bearish divergences rsi uh awesome oscillator has bearish divergences rsi has very light RSI has very light divergences. That's all. Bearish reversal, right? Bearish, no, still bullish with bearish divergences on one hour time frame. Microsoft daily time frame. MA5 did bullish crossover. Last bar almost, yeah, cross all, all moving averages. Nice bullish reversal. For our time frame, last bar touched MA200. MA200 can be strong resistant and last bar disconnected from MA5, 10 and 20. Bullish trend. One hour time frame, it did bullish crossover over 200. Bullish trend on all indicators. Nice bullish short squeeze. One hour time frame. And Amazon, let's see Amazon, what's going on with Amazon on daily time frame, right? Nice green bar, it did close above MA5 and 10. It's building bullish reversal signal. So far it is still not strong, still bearish below MA20. For our time frame, it's already did bullish crossover and last bar closed above MA20. It is nice bullish reversal, but remember setup is very negative bearish because MA20 did bearish crossover over 200. This run can be rejected. Maybe it will be rejected from 200. It is very, yeah, very negative bearish setup, but signal is bullish now. One hour time frame, bullish crossover, short squeeze all day, last bar closed above MA5, 10, 20 and 50. Bullish trend. Baba, Alibaba group, daily time frame, right? It's a bullish divergences on one hour uh, on daily time frame for, for Alibaba. Yeah, bullish divergences on all indicators. Last bar closed above MA5 and 10, still below 20, still bearish. Four hours time frame, MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. Last bar closed above MA20, bullish crossover, bullish trend. One hour time frame, bullish crossover over all moving averages except 200, bullish trend. That's all, let's do summary. Dow Jones, I'm sorry, Dow Jones, DXY, USA dollar, negative bearish. 
all in uh, Q's the most strongest index it is bullish on all time frames uh, yeah it was short squeeze look at it all day just straight bullish run and the same for all uh for mega stocks they all mega stocks they were bullish all day that's why Qs is so strong and uh, so powerful right s p 500 also bounced positively dow jones dow jones still kind of uh, negative and iwm still kind of bearish on daily time frame on four hours time frame they did some bullish divergence bullish crossover on one hour time frame they all indexes on one hour time frame they did bullish crossover bullish reversal signal and they did run nicely bullish for a straight day all day all day but remember it's a possible bull, uh, short squeeze and it can be rejected like this one for IWM from MA50 would, would be resistant that's all that's all let me move to disclaimer I am not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purposes we are using paper trading simulator Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe for, the, for this YouTube channel and click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.